man started a. Uh, oh no, I'm getting mixed up with Iron Maiden. I live near where Iron Maiden came from. Who was he on about? My t shirt. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris. I'm Archie. Where are we today? We're at the London Science Museum, actually. We are, aren't we? It's a pretty amazing and big place. Um, and this is an original James Watt steam engine. Obviously, um, not one to be fitted on locomotives. This isn't especially a, a train museum, but it's got a couple of things, and so we'll just go and find the couple of things it's got. I mean, it's it's got some massive steam engines. These are very impressive. But we're not here for static engines, are we? No. We're for steam engines. Yes. Here's a section on space travel. Yeah. We've got Daleks here. Oh my goodness, yeah. <laughs> oh, but look. Proper lunar lander. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's not a train either, though, is it? No. Not really. Okay, so I think this is the, the best thing in the museum's collection by far. And they used to have a lot more trains here. But do you know what this is, Arch? Uh, this is Puffing Billy, isn't it? Tell us about Puffing Billy. Do you know? No. Are you going to have to read the caption? Uh, is it my turn? Yeah. Okay, so this is Puffing Billy. This is the oldest surviving steam locomotive in the world. Built, I think, 1830? This, like, predates the rocket by at least a decade. Stevenson is yeah. in influenced by this, especially, look at that. Vertical cylinders. Aha! See, this is built up in Newcastle, and um, and yeah, it's it's basically a cusser of loads of steam engines that came later. Yeah, it comes before all of them. It's quite amazing. Absolute, absolutely amazing that it's survived. At all. It was sold to the museum for how much would you spend? One pound. How much do you usually spend on a locomotive from, say, Backman? 200, 300 pounds. Yes, this was 200 pounds to the museum. <laughs> How much do they want? Oh, uh, can, can we buy this? I don't think it'd fit on our track, but yes. Absolutely amazing. Puffing Billy himself. What are we looking at here, Arch? Uh, this is Columbine, built in 1845 by the Grand Junction Railway. It was built in Crew Works, funnily enough. Have we been there? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Looks a little different now, I'm guessing. What, Crew Works? Yeah. Now, <laughs> but yeah, it's so, one of those large centre wheels. Yeah, so this would have been built to go between Birmingham and Liverpool, or Birmingham and Manchester. amazing things at the museum is um, some amazing models and by models we, we don't mean Hornby and stuff these are proper metal and wooden scale models made in the period I believe. there's a massive collection of them up there that we're going to look at in a minute but right now what's this one right? uh, this is locomotion this is one of the this is a replica of one of the trains rivaling Stevenson's rocket That's during right. the trials. Yeah, absolutely. And a similar model of rocket. Yeah. I think we know what this is already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. The rocket used to be here at the Science Museum, but it's moved now to the National Rail Museum. So this is a whole section on um, transport and technology. Yeah. Oh, nice steam traction engine as well. Yeah. <laughs> they really do have everything here, don't they? Yeah, I mean, I remember coming here when I was a kid and it was quite different. There was a, there was a lot more trains. Um, but hey, 
times and the science and inventions change, so it's updated. Let's try and go up there then. Yeah. So, when we said earlier about models, I mean, we're always saying how brilliant Batman are, aren't we, in uh, <laughs> some other kits, but nothing like this. No. Look at that weathering. <laughs> No, but the actual craftsmanship that's gone into all this stuff. Yeah, it's true that way. Oh, look. So, for once, we're, we're actually speechless. Yeah. <laughs> We actually don't have much to say. What on earth? Is that a dynamometer? It seems to be a motorised carriage more than so. It is a motorised carriage, yeah. On a single deck. Oh my goodness. Never heard of this. The Shilovsky gyrostatic monorail car of 1911. Huh. It's a new one on us, folks. Yeah. I like that one up. This here, believe it or not, is an LMS Coronation class. Oh, now you may yeah. have heard that name from somewhere. And that's because this is technically speaking the same class of locomotives of the du Duchess of Hamilton. Yeah. Part next to the Manor. Only it's not got its streamlining. Yeah. Clearly. And there's a Spitfire model. These are models for um for wind tunnel, aren't they? Yeah. They only to put a Churchill tank in a wind tunnel, that's not streamlined. No. Yeah. And then we're up into aircraft models. Yeah. Oh look. Concord. Yeah. That's a wind tunnel model. Amazing. And Archie's just noticed about this coach. I just thought, hey, yeah, that's just a normal dining coach, isn't it? What's going on, Arch? Uh, it's a dining coach, but it's got six wheels on each bogey. It does, doesn't it? And why is that? Uh, it's to increase stability and support for dining coaches so that you can like pour your tea. A you lot get easier. a smoother ride, yeah. yeah smoother. Brilliant, never noticed that before. Yeah. So what were you saying about this card? I used to have a postcard of this one. <laughs> I used to come to the Science Museum quite a lot when I was a kid and my mum. I love this. <laughs> so we're upstairs in this section of models and this model is... Um, what is it? Hackworth's Royal George locomotive from 1827. The interesting thing about these models on this first floor section is they're not just models for a laugh. These are like actual demonstration designs. This is a 116 model to demonstrate to the directors of Stockton and Darlington Railway the soundness of the original design. So that's what these are. They're like prototypes. Amazing. Well, there we go. That was the small uh, collection of trains. It's very really impressive. At the Science Museum. Yeah, but not bad, is it? Yeah, and it's free to get in. outside of the, the Science Museum and um, down that way is Knightsbridge Station on the Piccadilly Line and down that way is South Kensington on the Piccadilly Line but behind us is something quite interesting. Box blood tiring. What's this Arch? Looks like a Leslie Green design to me. It's a disused underground station yeah. isn't it? I'm guessing on the Piccadilly line because that's predominantly where Leslie Green's architecture was used. Yeah, and we're right next to, or we're between South Kensington and Knightsbridge. I think this is Brompton Road, I might be wrong, someone tell me in the comments below. This is definitely an underground station of some description. Absolutely is, isn't it? A little bonus if you happen to be going to the Science Museum, come here as well. Hey. <laughs>